What is going on, ladies and gentlemen? Welcome to part two of Pokemon Ultra Sun playthrough. My name is Blaze, and today uh, we'll be picking up where we left off yesterday, which is like right in the middle of. Um, well, I can't remember the town name, but we're right in the middle of this town, and we're moving on. We just we just got past the uh, clothing shop. We're going through a tour of this town. Um, that's probably the first couple of hours of the game, and making our way to the next trial, I believe. So, I can't remember exactly where... Okay, so there's a, there's a thing over here I need to get to. There's Pokemon Center. There's also Pokemon over here I can catch. I think, uh, I've already got a Meowth, but I think there's some other stuff here I can get to. So, so I'm going to spend some time trying to catch some Pokemon. Maybe find some hidden items. You know, what have you. Anything like that. And then... Oh, Fufro. There we go. Foul Frau. Huh. <laughs> I think he's just a normal type, otherwise I might try to use him. I'm not really a big fan of that Pokemon. Wow. Didn't do anything. I'll try to catch him, I guess. Because, you know, that's the right thing to do. Enslaving Pokemon for your own sick, twisted... Motives. Wow. His special defense or his HP or something is like super high. Come on now. Are you serious? Oh my gosh. Try a different approach. That's crazy. I've hit him like three times. This probably won't have any effect either. He's probably going to KO this uh, lady, but pretty, pretty swiftly. Uh, you see what I did there? Guess I'm using swift. At least it'll always hit him, so that's good. Oh, he lowered my attack too. Uh, I don't. I don't like this thing at all. I really don't want to. Don't want to have to fight this thing again. I'm over it. Over it. But I do want it. So that's a pretty good. At least you can find it here. That's kind of cool. I wasn't sure if you'd be able to or not. Ba 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 bum ba bum bum. Oh, come on. Oh, you gotta be kidding me. I guess I can use a Great Ball. I don't really want to, though. Not for any real reason. It's a, be it's a better chance of capturing him. I really don't want to deal with it anymore, but... Um, uh, then when that happens, I get even more upset. Come on now. Boom, 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 boom. Come on. Come on. Yep. Cool. <laughs> I don't want to deal with it anymore. Alright, so. Got some experience there. Leveled up. Sweet. Poplio grew to level 13. Everyone else. At least leveled up. Metapod's about to be a Butterfree. Cool. <laughs> Does not have an evolution. Interesting. Uh, let's see. There was an era when Aristocrats would compete to see who could trim their Fufu's fur into the most exquisite style. They don't do that anymore? You'd think they'd want to. That's weird. Oh well. Anywho, let's go heal up, because I, I did not expect that to take out so much of my team. Tiny mushroom. So one thing I'm going to try to do in this game is sell all of my... all the items I don't need. Um, especially items that... Um, that are... Uh, 
Not necessary. Greetings, Captain Lima here. You spotted me sticking up one of these lovely stickers, have you? You do what now? <laughs> oh yes, a young trial goers collected these stickers as they travel and follow the path they indicate. They will quite naturally progress along their island challenge. If I had to describe them, I would say these stickers really save trial goers like you. They, what? I'm so confused. What? I cannot let my guard down. Those Team Skull thugs have far too much time on their hands, and they're always trying to get in the way of trainers in their island challenge. I have to keep an eye on them to be sure they don't take down my stickers. I actually just had to report that Team Skull was seen making trouble around town. I suppose I should go have a look. <laughs> Hope you'll have a delightful time running about to search out and collect totem stickers. So what, I, I can take them, but Team Skull can't? Like, how's that fair? They're also Pokemon trainers. They should be able to take them, too. It's not, it's not really that fair. Don't really like that. Yeah. So I think there's something up here. I can't, I won't be able to progress. Yeah, Tauros again. You know, you never see him after the storyline. It's so funny. Mm -mm -mm. <laughs> so I took a I took a nap after the Smash Brothers stream. I wasn't going to, but I tried I tried to stay awake. But it's raining over here, where I live, and it's like I got really tired. So I took a nap, and uh, now I'm I'm like kind of. I'm awake, but I'm not all there, so. Like, how come Team Skull can't take these can't take these stickers down? I don't, I don't get it. Why are they not allowed to? Team Skull is people, too. That's weird. Ba-ba-ba-bum-bum. Another Meowth. <laughs> Attack fell. Uh oh. He's not KO'd yet. He's probably gonna level up or evolve pretty soon, actually. That'd be cool. I want him to. I want him to evolve. Ba -ba -ba -bum -bum. There we go. Oh, sweet. Revive. Um, let's see. It's so weird to play this game again and have to have to re-explore everything. Like that's. It's so weird. I don't really know why. Like, I feel like... Part of me feels like I don't I don't really want to explore this game again. But a part of me is like, eh. It's fine. I guess I'll do it. But In this city, we're proud to live together with Pokemon. That's why we have so many patches of tall grass right here in the city. Young Lima and his Smeargle are always working hard to keep the gates around the grass looking tip-top as well. Captains should be responsible types, after all. You mean like me? I'm responsible. How's it, Blaze? If you're looking for good eats, you found them. I wasn't, but thank you, I guess. Malasada make your Pokemon like you, and affectionate Pokemon are better in battle. Who could resist giving their Pokemon a few Malasada? Uh, they're just so cute. Yo, 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 check it. Whenever, wherever we meet you, Team Skull don't even greet you. <laughs> what? Yo, you want to throw us a bone to hand over those island challenge amulets? So you're part of Team Skull, huh? Are you? All you guys ever do is steal totem stickers and people's Pokemon and get in the way of other people's island challenges. You know it. We hate the island challenge, yo, and every kid fool enough to try it. 
Yo, let's check these fools. Come on, please. Let's teach these team skill jerks not to get in the way of anybody's island challenge. Okay. <laughs> Where do you think you're stepping off to, little man? You ain't even fought me yet. Yo, check how I changed the game with my mad Pokemon skills. It's not gonna happen, bro. I don't know who he thinks he is, but he's probably going to get KO'd quickly. It's Zubat. Publio. Let's go with Water Gun. Probably enough to kill him. Nope. Supersonic, supersonic. <laughs> yes. Poor Zubat. Oh, Metapod's about to evolve. For real? Over already? Yo, for real? No fair, I was playing a different game. Let's get up to this port. <laughs> Let's get up out of this port, B. Nobody has to know about this. We, we don't need your wacky little amulets anyway. Wouldn't even take them if you gave them to us. <laughs> Those seems little jerks really must have too much time on their hands. Keeping other people from doing their island challenge isn't going to just make it like they managed to finish theirs, you know? I already went down to the marina and screamed out over the ocean, Watch out, world! Someday I'm going to beat even my old Gramps in an all-out serious battle. So maybe I'll go try to find some more totem stickers. See you around. Okay. What a lovely battle you showed us there against Team Skull. My thanks to you and your Pokemon. Why don't I heal your team to express my gratitude? I mean, they really aren't even that injured. It's fine. Must have been. I've been wondering about you since I saw you at the trainer school. Professor Kukui brought you along, and you and your Pokemon seem to defeat our teacher so effortl effortlessly. Well, yeah, because they were easy. Very well, then. Allow me to see if you're ready for my trial. Sure. Are you going to fight me? What are you doing? The magnificent Pokemon of the one and only Captain Lima. Got an Ultra Ball. Cool. Young Goose, go! Some of the storyline elements in, in most Pokemon games are probably my least favorite parts. Like, there's only, there's only a few uh, storyline elements that are really, really good. But for the most part, some of them just get in my way. I really don't like them. Um, I mean, they're fine to level up your Pokemon and get through the game and everything, but sometimes it just kind of... They slow the game down. What's he doing? Tackle? Yowza! Okay, there's a young goose down. Young Wheezy. Level 14, Poplio. Sweet. Let's do Aqua Jet instead of Water Gun. It's 40. 40. Move always goes first. Sounds good to me. Aqua Jet. Lady of a level 12. Nice. Light screen. Sweet. I'll just keep the old moves. It's fine. Pichu level 9. I guess I'll switch out to uh, good old Ladybug. Ladybug. 
I'm going to use Ladybug and Lady in for a while. I'm probably not going to use him the whole game, but for a little while, I'll probably use him at least. Womp womp womp. Ouch. That's not going to go well, I don't think. Probably going to get KO'd here pretty soon. Probably will take it. He's good for it, taking some damage, probably. Probably. Let's see. Ooh, snap. Oh no. Did not expect that. Wow. Alright. So we'll go with, uh. Yeah, Ladybug, I guess. No, not tackle. Well, that's just brilliant. This doesn't happen to me, like, ever. And of course, it happens to me on, on a stream. Um, if he gets KO'd, I'm going to have to change. Oh, great. Okay. I don't want to use revives and things like that, so I wasn't, I wasn't going to use a revive, but if he got KO'd, I would have had to. Wingle, level 10. Champion Lima. 1,320 Pokemon-y. You, or should I say you and your Pokemon, make quite the interesting team. I do hope you'll come to Verdant Cavern and complete the trial. The Trial of Lima. Get there from Route 2. That Rotom Dex of yours will show you the way. I bid you Alola. Okay. Thank you. Go inside here. 350, huh? Yeah. Big Melisadas are really very big, so be sure to share it with your Pokemon. I will. Come back soon. Sweet Malasada. Give it to good old Poplio here. He's dead, though. <laughs> She gave me a refund. Wow. Well, I mean, that's fine. I don't want to keep going just yet because I think there's more battles coming up and I'm not ready. What is this place? Oh, the city hall. Cool. Let me get healed up first. We'll go to the city hall and then we'll go over to the next area. The next area. I'll take your Pokemon for a few seconds then. Cool. So I think it's funny how in this game, how is the grandson of one of the Kahunas, and the Kahuna gave your character um, the bracelet, and also... Um, they gave you the Rotom Dex, too. It's so weird. Berry stock is getting a bit low. Better put in another order for delivery from the Berry Fields. I'll need some identification, please. Came to Kanto. Is it true that Meowth from Kanto are different from the Meowth here in Alola? Uh, yeah. I don't remember what's in here and why, why you need to care. I don't remember. Uh, busy thinking about what kind of city we should make our Haoli, Haoli into. It's got to be convenient for the people living here and for the Pokemon living here, too. We're going to get married. <laughs> Good luck. Good luck with that. Ribbons. They're like a way to trap to wrap your Pokemon up in precious memories. I've heard that there are a lot of different kinds of ribbons in other regions outside of Alola. There are. I have a bunch. 
Yeah. Two totem stickers. It's one of the jobs of City Hall to maintain the roads and make sure there is space for any ride Pokemon to travel along them too. Why is this the only City Hall in the whole game? Like, I think, I'm pretty sure all the other islands are also, should also have a City Hall, but this one doesn't have it. Bum, bum, ba -dum. Three stickers, I don't know what they do. Three, ah, ah, ah. <clears throat> so I went there, uh, we got a sticker. Four, ah, ah, ah. What else we got? Ooh, another item. Kind of need that. Bum, bum. They have 50% chance of getting a divorce later. <laughs> nice. Echoed voice. TM. Noise. They sure do have a 50% chance. We're gonna get married. I sure hope she feels the same way. Take a photo, it'll last longer. My champ is holding a sign that says Alola Photo Club coming soon. This is the police station. I don't know how it is in other regions, but things are pretty peaceful here. I'll do anything. If you do anything too bad after all, you'll bring the wrath of the Guardians down upon you. Plus, it's like always sunny and nice. Like, why would you want to do anything bad? There's probably something in here. Um. <clears throat> bum, bum. Uh oh. I knew that was going to happen. Bum, 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 ba da da dum. Uh, let's see, so I need to do Pound, I guess. <clears throat> or Disarming Voice. No! I don't like that it's nighttime during the day and vice versa in moon. It is weird. I, I did I did find that um, while I was playing through moon, it was very strange when I did it too. Um, one thing though that you can do is once you get uh, once you get to the point where you can pass through the the dimensional portal, on the other side of the portal, time is normal. Got a real sweet kind of face, don't you? I bet old ladies like you like to give you candy. What does that even mean? Why would you say that to me? Um. Finally, I'm here to see you. Oh, that's great, isn't it? After all, there's a lot of different Pokemon that will let you ride on their backs. Very sorry for the inconvenience, but the ship is undergoing regular maintenance. We hope to be underway again soon. So I mentioned before how if this game included a, a trip to Kanto at the end of the game, I would be ecstatic. No spoilers. Don't don't tell me what happens, but at least not right now. Thanks to the great ferry system, you can get to the next island in no time. Attack power is the key to anything. If you use X attack in battle, you can defeat a very tough opponent. I don't need those. I've never used those items. Five. Ah, uh, ah, uh, ah. Uh. Yeah, so, I don't know. I think it'd be pretty awesome to to go to Kanto. It probably won't happen. Um, predictions, full disclosure, I don't think it's going to happen. Six totem stickers. Ah, uh, ah, uh, ah. Uh. I sure hope they're used for something, because I would hate to get all these stickers and then be like, oh, you don't do anything with them. Um, probably for about an hour and a half. 
most likely. As far as the streaming time frame goes, that's about how long I'll be on. And then I'll be coming back at 7.30 for um, Pokemon Shiny Hunting. Of course, I'll be back for that. So, Okay, let's see. I like how all the, all the shops are lit up right there. That's pretty cool. It looks really nice. So, there's probably some trainers down here that I want to fight. There's also a... A Pokemon near here somewhere. Where is it? I don't think I've ever... Done this one before. Oh, I have. But I can't zoom in or anything. So this is the worst part, because you can't zoom in or anything, and I had I had the better camera, but now I don't have it. Um, they're all the same, I'll just pick one. A hundred and ten. Okay. Bum bum bum. Alright, dude. And the droppings fall. Oh, the beauty of nature. Eh. Wouldn't say that exactly. Ground-type movies won't reach flying-type Pokemon, right? So they don't do any damage to them. But water-type movies will wash away any ground-types. They're very effective at that. After I beat Moon, I can go through the porthole and stay there to keep playing. I'd rather do that because I like playing in real time. Yeah, you can do that. That's that's how I do it in, in my copy of Pokemon Moon. I'm pretty sure Ultra Moon's the same, so... That's how I do it. Look, catch. Would you stop? I know they're squishy, but there's no reason to throw Pikumiku at me. Throw a Pokeball if you must or something. <laughs> That's just mean. Slowpoke really has its own tempo, huh? Never, It's never confused by other Pokemon's moves. It's too slow to get confused or take a hint. Leave me alone already, would you, Slowpoke? Aw, oh, poor Slowpoke. Just, me and Slowpoke are basically the same guy. Girls always telling us to leave him alone. Never taking a hint. We're awful. Ba-bum. Bum. Bum. So I guess we'll go to the trial. Whew. Which I think is up here. I think. Um. No, I guess not. Where am I supposed to go? <laughs> I've been trying to do this thing for a while, and it keeps. I keep doing the same thing. Okay, now what? Staring at you lovingly. Oh. I guess you get to befriend a rock rough. I didn't do that the first time. Hmm? Hello. I wonder if it's, if it's ever going to like follow me around. I don't know. How long is this going to take? Like, okay. <laughs> Uh, 
Alright, so... Tell me where to go. Oh, I guess I have to go over here. Okay. My bad. Went the wrong way. I do that a lot in life. Ah. Uh, more Pokemon to fight. Let's go. Young Goose. I'm gonna run, actually. I find it much harder to... Uh, I find it extremely hard to see like what what I'm selecting during uh, what I'm battling. So that's something I'm not too thrilled about. That's the one the one complaint about the interface right now is that when I'm trying to do something, I can't really tell what's going on. Bum bum bum. I played a little earlier today. I'm at around the same place. Oh, nice. I'm probably going to get, hopefully, to the next trial and finish that off real quick. Because I, I want to be able to do that at least. And, uh... I'm just going to play every single day. Wait for me, Blaze. Um, no. I don't really... I don't think I need you. Oh, I'm glad to see a familiar face. I always get so quickly... Can't figure out the roads here. I can't even buy my own clothes. Why? I mean, do you not how do you not know how that works? You're moving on to your first trial. You're going to Verdant Cavern. I read something in that in an old book once. It said that the island challenges were once a journey made to prove yourself and gain the strength to battle against the guardian deities of Alola. Like Tapacoco. People of Iki Town said that Tapacoco loves Pokemon battles, didn't they? If we can meet Tapacoco once more, do you think we'd find the answer to why it saved us? Uh, probably not. I don't think it can talk. Please take these. They're called revives. If you use one on a Pokemon that has fainted, it will recover and feel a little better. Three revives. So far, although I like it okay, I prefer regular sun. Yeah, I will say that, as of right now, I'm happy, like, I prefer all of the progress I've already made to the progress that I now have to make all over again. Blaze, I've got this ornery creature calmed down again. Want to give him a little pat? Sure. Poke it on the nose. Yeah, he's mad. <laughs> Huh? Touch its four legs. Ah, did it again. Whoops. Grab it by the horns. Maybe old Tauros here can feel your love for Pokemon. He sure seems happy to know you. It still seems to me like Tauros wants to stretch its legs on his own challenge. Where he going? You wanna play tag now? The melee kahuna never loses, friend. Maybe when I get to the end of the game, uh, I will have appreciated playing this game. But as of right now, I'm having a hard time justifying it. Not that it's bad, but... It's not quite what I had in mind, I guess. Ekans! Not intimidate. Ah. Leer. I think Ekans was new. I don't think Ekans was in the original. Pretty sure. Oh, well, you fainted. You jerk. You weren't supposed to faint. You're supposed to be just fine. Be right back after I feed the pup. Sweet. Oh no. Oh no. 
Intimidate. Ow. Not rap. <laughs> I feel like if, if Pokemon was in real life, like if Pokemon was real life, then moves like rap would be a lot more effective. But in this game, they're just not that effective. Oh snap. He about to get caught. I wanted to buy more Pokeballs, I totally forgot. Is it gonna work? Yeah, totally worked. Do 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 do. Sweet. Evolution too. So I don't I don't think it takes that long for Ekans to uh, evolve. So I think I'm gonna put him in my party, and then uh, just to get the uh, Pokedex entry on Arbok and ha not have to worry about it later. I've only got two Pokemon in my party right now that I even want to use, and Ladybug really only until it evolves. I love its wings. They look different. I don't know why. They just look different. Butterfree! Yeah! Registered. Its wings are covered in toxic scales. If it finds bird Pokemon going after Caterpie, Butterfree sprinkles its scales on them to drive them off. Oh. That's cool. Gust. Nice. Bum bum bum. Ekans. Arbaka. So Ekans Pokedex entry. By dislocating its jaw, it can swallow prey larger than itself. After a meal, it curls up and rests. Cool. Add to your party. I am really glad they let you do that. Uh, just add it straight to your party rather than uh, rather than make it go to a PC box. Haven't you seen the way the grass shakes on Route 2? That rustling grass hides a Pokemon that is dying to pounce on some easy trainer. Battling those feisty creatures can be worth it. They sometimes drop items after battle. That one didn't. Not a single item. Welcome, trial goer. Think you can handle... The ordeal of defeating a beauty? Uh, yeah, I do, actually. I, I don't think that's going to be an issue. Um, but I also thought... I thought you said you were a beauty. I'm not really seeing that. I'm like, oh, beauty, do you, is there one around? <laughs> a beauty, huh? Ow. Not stun spore. Come on. Great. Can't move. Pow. Zoom. Right in the kisser. I bet you can finish any trial. <laughs> I mean, if that's how you judge trial goers, you've got another thing coming. Like, I don't even know. Over here. Many traders visit our cemetery where Pokemon rest to pay their respects. Oh. Huh. Cool. Uh oh. Preschool of Pistons, full power. I don't know what he means, but it's probably something about not being good. 
Preschooler Dylan wants to battle Drifloon. All right. I'm not sure how he like was brave enough to go into the cemetery, but that's cool. <laughs> Aqua Jet. Ha! Oh, you jerk. You jerk. Preschooler Piston, stop! Let's see what else we got here. Queer Brawler. Right by the sea, that's right. Welcome to my wonderful seaside motel. Queer Brawler sure is something, ain't he? He nabs passersby to bring them to me so I can send them down by the bay. He's actually been a little too good at his job, so I've got no vacant rooms. Okay. He's like, follow me this way. I've got something cool to show you. Okay. Yeah, I don't remember this, uh, this beach area down here. Interesting. Look at that broad expanse of beach. The name is Big Wave Beach. There are some interesting Pokemon to be found down the beach, so I suggest having a look. And just so you know, the path to the beach was made by none other than yours truly. Just me and my Crabrawler. Cool, I guess. I think that's pretty much new. Oh, gosh. Have you ever seen a surfer before? Have you ever seen a surfer before? Carlton. <laughs> Why is his name Carlton? Yeah, sweet surfboard. Okay, we'll go with uh, Aqua Jet, I guess. Present. Oh, cool. Thanks, pal. You're the best. That was super nice of him. He just healed me a little bit. Always good. I'm about to evolve pretty soon. <clears throat> Wingle, level 11. I'll ride waves even if I'm not feeling it. That's what surfers do, after all. Makes sense. Makes sense. This is a new area. By the way. Big Wave Beach. What is all this stuff? Is this where you get the, uh... Um... Beach points for rewards? Or wait, was it battle points? What did BP stand for? Do you want to hand over some of your hard-earned BP for a prize? Yes. Berry juice, potions, rare candies. Okay. Teach your Pokemon to move in exchange for some BP? So that's pretty cool. Welcome to Big Wave Beach. You've got... You've come to exactly the right place if you're looking for some Mantine Surf. Mantine Surf is just what it says on the box. You climb up on the back of our Mantine, and you surf. Surfing is the best sport, where you can enjoy traveling across the ocean waves. Though youngsters like yourself who want to get into Mantine Surf have to toughen up and show that they can really handle it. It's a dangerous sport, to be fair. Come back when you're as tough as a real kahuna. Me and Mantine will be holding our breath. Well, that's not fair. I don't like that at all. Famous for Mantine surfing. No, it's not. It was not even mentioned in the last game. You can enjoy some epic waves here. You're not allowed to ride the Mantine until your legs are big and strong, so you can stand up on them. I bet your legs get super strong from all the walking you do on the island challenge. Yeah, probably. I wonder if there's any Pokemon over here. What's his face said there would be? There's just not though. My straw hat got blown away by the wind, and well, I chased after it and wound up here. 
How about you have a ride with Mantine, sir? You can just flow with the wave, but it's important to challenge yourself. That's weird. If you fall off during Mantine Surf, don't worry. The Pukumuku will help help you float, and I'll fish you up eventually. The Mantine will always help you get back up on the wave. There's a little, like, cave over here. Wow. What's in there? Sandy cave. I need a, I need a Lapras. Interesting. That's like a whole new area to come back and explore, so I can't wait to do that. Once I get a Lapras. Which I think is on the second island. I can't remember. <laughs> Yo, you better be ready for some mischief, Masters of Team Skull, to do some Mantine Surfing too. Uh-oh. Here we go again. <laughs> oh, Team Skull, you know you guys can't ride here. What's up with that? We look like kids to you or something? No, the real reason is... Yeah, the real reason is... Every time you try, you keep up those ridiculous dance moves, even on the man scene's back. And then you end up in the water. You want us to stop dancing? That's our identity, yo. It's all we've got. Man, forget her, B. We're Team Skull. No one can stop us from acting head-hearted. Hard-headed. <laughs> Welcome back. I'm here to dance. Somebody please keep these numbskulls away from Mantine. This looks like a job for someone else. Although I'm pretty sure I can't do anything else until I do this. So I guess I'll go back. Stupid Team Skull. Why are you so stupid? What are you looking at, short stuff? Huh? Huh? Wait, huh? Hey, you're that kid. You want to scrap Tiny Trainer? A battle, yo. You might have been, you might have beat us in Haley City, but we'll put our heads together and beat you this time. Not likely, sir. I mean, I get you can kind of say whatever you want, but this is not going to happen. You're not going to beat me at all. This looks like a job for not me. <laughs> Aqua Jet. I kind of feel like the uh, the experience share is a little bit overpowered. But the alternative is a lot harder. It takes way more time to level everything up. So I think overall I like the experience share, but I don't I don't like using it. Yo, I'm feeling mad annoyed that my team just got destroyed. I'm feeling mad annoyed that my team just got destroyed, yo. Seriously, Home Slice? You're too strong for a kid, yo. I gotta go make something, someone else miserable to feel better. Let's go mess with Lima again, B. I'm down with that. Verdant Cavern's pretty close by anyway. Hey, you. You better listen to what my homie says and drill it into that stick skull of yours. Seriously, you better not forget, numb skull. Nice one, kid. Man team won't be subjected to these terrible surfing skills thanks to you. You're a decent trainer, just like I'd expect from a trial goer on the island challenge. Why don't you take this from me? There's water literally everywhere, and you're giving me... Oh, my gosh. I bet you could take on Captain Lima's trial with how well you handled that battle. Even Kahuna Hala would probably say you are ready to take on all of Alola. If he says that you're ready, come back here, and we'll get, we'll get you up on Mantine in no time. This lady be like, oh, thanks for helping. Here's a handful of air. I didn't even see this area up here. Ah. A white herb. I've not been to Festival Plaza yet. 
And it, it, I kind of mad at Festival Plaza because I was already level 100 in the, in the original one. Probably like 130 or something. Everyone seems to pull off killer moves at the moment they climb atop a Mantine. Why do they even keep me as an instructor? Uh, wants to play more. What do you do? Play peekaboo. Huh? Hey! I'm not sure what the point of this stuff is. I think you can get this thing to be your friend or something. Um, but I don't know. Okay. Yeah, so I really I want to play the Festival Plaza, but I don't I don't know. I'm kind of mad at it. The Mantine are all really chill. They don't care if someone's riding them or even if Pokemon called Remoraid cling to them. But I, I'm going to get into it pretty soon, I think. Hmm. Hmm. I think I'm at level 62 in Sun, but now I'm at level 7. Uh, you're given more FC in the game. Oh, cool. Do -do 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 -do. This guy has one room and he's book solid. So you have a Pokedex then, have you? I guess I'll give you some nest balls. You don't have to, man. Like, keep them if you want. Nest balls make it easier to catch Pokemon that are weak. The lower their level, the easier it is. I think I finally nailed my hairstyle, but now my makeup doesn't seem to match. Wasn't this the same girl that was on the beach talking to that surfer dude? I'm not going to get involved in that. Leave that alone. <laughs> I don't think it was, but it could have been. Okay. It's a nice motel, isn't it? We're always doing our best here, so I'm sure you can understand why we're all booked up. If you're off on the island challenge and you'll need to help the help of many different Pokemon, you don't say. You don't say. Alright, so there's a sticker over here. Grab that sticker. Seven totem stickers. Ah, ah, ah. It's good for kids to experience their own journeys, but running away without even word to the parents is another thing entirely. I tried to set that boy mind straight, but when I did, I was the one who got beat. That doesn't sound right. Are you talking about how? A thin layer of dust on the trophies. Wh whose trophies are they? Hmm. Hmm. Oh, what oh, what am I to do? What's wrong? My precious widow meowth is lost. It's so very timid and shy, so I'm sure that it must be hiding someplace. My poor, poor Meowth, my heart breaks just thinking about you. I want to find you and hug you and love you. Will you help me find my Meowth? Uh, yeah. You will help? Oh, thank you. You're my hero. My Meowth loves the shadowy places under tires and beneath trees. I'm going to just, I'm going to walk away. Bye. Heal ball. I'm mad the motel never refills the drink machine. I agree. Like, what kind of business are they running? And fighting. Murko just loves shiny, sparkly things. That's great, bro. Doesn't really matter. I see why Meowth ran away. 
That's hilarious. I have to get out of here. This guy's like hugging me way too much. I didn't realize being captured by someone would, would mean all this. Mm. Astonish. Ouch. Ouchie. Whew. One hundred and eleven. Ladybug level thirteen. Pichu level eleven. Grubbin level eleven. Sweet. You must shine brighter. Okay. Pokemon and trainers with a good bond always seem to shine to shine brightly. This is the uh, the berry fields. I always forget where they are, but they're very important. It's probably better than doing the uh, Pokepelago in some ways. Ho! Oh, you and Puppy are doing the island challenge. Great, allow me to give you a berry. Orin berry. Orin berries can restore some of the Pokemon's HP for them. You can feed a berry to a Pokemon or let one hold the berry and they'll eat it when they need it. By the way, are you interested in becoming a berry master? Sure am. You look quite promising. Alright, first of all, get a person berry. Now where do I get that? Eight totem stickers. Ah, ah, ah. Silver powder. A person berry. Perseem. Another sticker. Nine totem stickers. Ah, ah, ah. Okay, let's get out of here. Whew. Do I have one already? Oh, I do have one. Why would he tell me that? Um, whoa, you have a person berry. I don't know if you picked it from a berry tree or your Pokemon had it, but that's great. I'll offer this as a reward. A citrus berry, cool. I love Pokepelago. I always get my Pokemon to dig for rare treasures so I can earn lots of money. You open up the berry's pocket and put the citrus berry away. Person berry heals confusion and Pekka berry heals poison. Citrus restores HP, or more HP than Orin. Cool. I guess you can't plant anything here. I thought you'd be able to. But there aren't any berry trees growing here. Do you want to know why? We came here to Alola region thinking to help spread the word about using fertilizer in the berry fields. Town where we came from, uh, Campfire, Campfire Town in Kalos, grows plenty of berries in nearby fields. And we use fertilizer to help grow our berries. So you can't find fertilizer? In Alola, people don't have to do a thing to help berries grow. If you, you can sit back and let nature and Pokemon do all the work, and you'll have more berries than you'll know what to do with. And that's why we stopped bothering with trying to farm in the fields here. Now we're the ones who are enamored with Alola berry culture. My new dream is to try to become a true berry master. We could still use this area. Like, there's some really rare berries that are hard to find. Like, we definitely should try to do that, but if you guys don't want to, it's fine. That's on you. I would I would make great use of your of your berry, f you know, fertilization fields. Yes, I see. So this is this way lies Verdant Cavern. It is one of the places in this land filled with the binding one's power. Most certainly worth our investigating. Yep, the aura leaves the aura levels are really high. Calm yourself, Zossi. It will be difficult for us to investigate it, though, since we do not use Pokemon of our own. We will have to think of some other way. Perhaps we could use our technology to find a way to control Pokemon. Maybe I can go in as a trial goer, take on the trial and everything. Though I don't have one of those island challenge amulet thingies. That was a boring story. <laughs> 
It really was. I really, I, I want to use the berry fields, but they won't let me. Pokepelago is fine, but I want to use the berry fields. Okay. I've been here before. Shiny hunting and everything. Let's battle. Let's not. You're just going to get beat. Last Isabella. Isabella! Why would you use that? Fairy Wind. Aqua Jet. Flebebe. Ekans. As soon as all those Pokemon evolve, I'm going to put them all on my PC and pull something else out. And use it instead. There's a Pokemon Center up here. Uh-oh. How's it, Blaze? Your Pokemon doing all right? Not so good. Same here. I know Litten and the rest of my team have seen better days for sure. What? Come on, Blaze. Let's stop by the Pokemon Center. Why'd you call it a PMC? It's not a PMC. You know that Verdant Cavern place, right? I guess it's kind of like sacred to Tapu Koko. You aren't even allowed to go into it unless you're on your island challenge. Almost forgot. I have something pretty amazing to share with you, Blaze. You lucky thing. Everyone's giving me revives. Do you guys just think I'm not a very good trainer? Revives are sol solid items to have. If your Pokemon faints in battle you can't and can't go on, then revive will perk them right back up. But you probably don't won't find revives here. Did you know that Pokemart sometimes sell different things? And not just that, the two clerks at the counter even sell different things from one another. But you gotta get that, you got that Rotom Dex, right? If you tap it and play with it a lot, then you can use Roto Rotolotto. Give me a tap when my eyes flash. Okay. Okay, I'm doing it. Uh, that's weird. We can use the Rotoloto. Rotoloto. Uh, let's see. I don't know how I feel about this. It's an amazing... It's a power. Two Roto Boosts. You open up the Rotom Powers pocket and put the Rotom Roto Boosts away. Boost the stats of your Pokemon. I don't want that. Rotto Lotto can even make your team stronger. I wonder what other kind of Rotto Rotom Powers there are. I don't want that. Have you got a moment? Um, do you mind? Sure. What's up? I'm so glad that you would listen to a request from a total stranger. I'm actually here in Alola with my darling hubby. It's our honeymoon. Uh, we're looking for berries. We saw this Pokemon called Kerbrawler. Uh, husband fell in love at first sight with Kerbrawler. If you catch one of those Kerbrawler for me. If I know what kind of Pokemon it is, then I can probably go and catch one myself. You may find Kerbrawler in a pile of berries. If you know where it is, why don't you go get it? I get frustrated that Hal runs off all the time. He really does. Um, I don't like the clothes we start we start with this in, in this game. My girl looks like she's wearing a diaper, although some new shorts. I bought some new shorts as soon as I could. Yeah, the clothes are like they're very strange. I don't I don't know. I feel like everybody start with a random assortment of clothes or like starter clothing or something. Uh, Pokemon can eat berries while in battle. Remember that. I need some Pokeballs. Let's go. We'll do 10. Premier Ball. 
Okay, here we've got potions, heal ball. Sure, may, may as well buy some more of those too. They're cheap enough. Okay, who's this? You're a Pokemon trainer. Have you caught Spearow? Will you trade it for my Halucha? I don't have one. But maybe I'll get one soon. There's almost definitely a Crabala right here, by the way. It's Radita. I don't think I have one of these yet. No, I don't. Yeah, I think I uh, I killed it last time I saw it. I didn't even healed my Pokemon yet. Wow. Tail Whip. The boy looks like he's wearing yoga pants under his shorts. I don't like that either. Really? Yeah, I think the shorts... They could look so much cooler. I don't like the way they look. Chesto Berry. Okay, let's go... Heal up, and then we'll catch a bunch of Pokemon. Bum, 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 bum. Thanks, lady. Thanks, lady! So I think there's a Spearow and a... There's at least a Spearow over here. Looking for berries to have my Pokemon hold. Well, uh, too bad. I have them all. <laughs> What's he going to slap me? What's he doing? Rock Ruff. Rock Ruff's pretty cute. Oh, he's dead now. Too bad. I kind of wish we could wear overalls, though. That'd be kind of cool. I wouldn't wear them, but I, I kind of wish this, this outfit, this person's outfit, was a uh, was a possibility. Bum, 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 ba -da -dum. And there should definitely be something over here. I don't know why there's nothing here. It's so weird. Ah! Ah! Ekans. Guess who's back? Back again. Ekans back. Tell a friend. Whoop, whoop. Okay, uh, Aqua Jet. Sure. I really hope they uh, they give you more hair options in the game because I feel like the boys, when you go to cut your hair, it's like there's like four options. That's all you get. Icy wind, yes. I took Litten out of my party once I got an Everstone. I like to keep him as a Litten, or at the second stage. Or once I get an Everstone. Oh, um. I, should, I don't know if you knew this, but you can press the B button to cancel evolution. Even if you don't have an Everstone. I don't know if you knew about that or not, but... You may as well use Litten and just keep pressing B so he doesn't evolve. Hey, it's Makuhita. Makuhita, Makuhita. So during the evolution like process, when, when the, the, the music comes on and you see the Pokemon and they start flashing... You can just press the B button and they'll stop they'll stop evolving. Bum, 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 bum. Avoided the attack, huh? Silly Makuhita. 
Hey, Makuhita. Stop it. Stop it. Oh my gosh. I didn't know that. You can't undo evolution. You can't go back, but you can prevent it from happening. So... Oh, he fainted. Yeah, so if your Pokemon's already evolved, you can't ever go back. Unless you breed and, and just make a new one. But... Um... But yeah, if you want to stop it from happening, you certainly can. Ba 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 da 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 da. I forgot I'm trying to catch these things. Wingle, level 12. Mist. Radita. I'm going to come back and try to catch these Pokemon. Uh, for now, I really want to uh, get to the next trial and, and, and finish the next trial. Um, and then I'll come back and try to catch all the Pokemon that I missed. I don't know how to breed. I'm still going around trying to catch new Pokemon. Yeah, breeding is just that... Uh, when you get to the area with all the mill tanks and uh, Tauros, you can leave two Pokemon at the Pokemon daycare uh, if they're male and female. And as you walk around, they'll they'll breed. They'll they'll leave behind a Pokemon egg, and then you can hatch the egg. So not something you have to worry about right now, but it, something you can definitely do. Greetings, Captain Lima here, and my trial begins mere steps from here in Verdant Cavern. Note that the Pokemon living with, within Verdant Cavern are quite fierce. I wouldn't venture in unless you're prepared with some potions and so forth. Through attempting the trials during the island challenge, one can exceed his or her own limits. That is what the Alola people believe. Once you enter the cavern, you will not be able to leave until you have completed the trial. Are you prepared? Yep. Probably should save first. Did not think that through. What's the new option? There's a new option on here. I don't know what it is. We've got Trainer Passport, Quick Link, Battle Video, QR Scanner, Pokemon Refresh. Maybe Battle Video. I don't know. Anywho. Something's new. probably the same. I bet it's exactly the same. Why is he wearing a sweater vest? Let me formally welcome you to the Verdant Cavern. I'm your Captain Lima. Allow me to explain the basics of my trial. What you should attempt to do is... Oh, it's Young Goose in this game. It was Radita in the last one. Defeat three of the Pokemon that lurk here in their dens. Then reach the pedestal deep within the cave. And collect the Z crystal. You'll need to be completely in sync with your Pokemon to succeed. Grrr. Oh dear, and there's one more thing I forgot to mention. Many strong Pokemon make their home in this cave, but one stronger and more fearsome than all the rest, known as Totem Pokemon, also reside here. It will be the greatest obstacle you face as you attempt to clear my trial. By the way, until you clear the trial, you will not be able to reach Pokemon in Verdant Cavern. Or catch Pokemon. This is but one of the eight trials you will face during your island challenge. And it begins now. Trial start! I'll have to try it soon. I wish I had known about the evolution trick. Maybe I can get a new Poplio. I love bubbles, but I think all the fluffy ev evolved starters are ugly.
Got one. A wild young goose. Oh snap, Hyperfang. Oh my gosh. Critical hit, gosh. Was well, definitely not supposed to happen. I've got some potions though, I should be able to heal up a little bit. Pichu, go to level twelve. Grubbin level twelve. I've got a pretty good backup crew, I think, for the most part. Get some potions out here. Okay. Super potion. Thanks, pal. <laughs> when I first played this, I thought Captain Lima was a girl. I I could see that. I could see that. His little sweater vest is not helping. I'm not a fan of the sweater vest. It's like probably upwards of 110 degrees outside and he's got a little sweater vest on. What's he doing? Ekans, level 12. Glare. Sure. Let's get rid of rap. No one likes rap. The poker wrap. The poker wrap. One more left to defeat. This one was tough, if I remember correctly. Like you had to, you had to try and catch. He kept he kept cycling through which one he was going to be in. It's pretty tough. He's not over there. I can tell you that right now. I don't think he's over there. How do we get up there? Oh, go this way. Super potion. Super potion. Heck yeah. His hair is pink and he has some little barrette on the red on the end or something and his face is a bit feminine <laughs> definitely huh interesting X defense okay but if I go over there, he's not over there. Brick break. Brickety break. <clears throat> what is this? Yo, yo, yo. It's your bad beach boys back back again. Remember us? Uh, who are you? I'm sorry. Oh, I see. Just because we swap places, you can't tell who, who we are anymore. Who cares about that anyway? We're here to mess up mess his trial up, yo. Oh yeah, that's right. Yo, let's get this Pokemon, homie. So, one of the biggest complaints about the original Pokemon uh, Sun and Moon was that your character never had facial expressions. Like, he never made a different face than that, than that dopey face he makes all the time. Um, so, that's probably going to continue to be a problem in this game. I'm guessing. I don't know.
Not pound. Oh, I didn't really hurt that much. Bum, 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 bum. Ladybug, level 14. Is it cool for me to be in Team Skull if I'm this brittle? Yo. Yo, is it cool for me to be in this team? What up with that? For real, though. I can't get my skull around it. This kid's mad strong, yo. No, I didn't even like that. This kid is straight up dangerous, homie. I don't know, man. In this whole place, trouble? Yeah, it totally is, homie. I mean, that thing is so strong that regular Pokemon don't even want to come out in battle. I don't think I ever found all 100 TMs. I think I found most of them. Yo, kid. You know there's mad strong Pokemon lurking back here somewhere, right? I'd run if I were you. Nah, we're going to... We're going to... We're not going out like that. We got to get our revenge. Go stand over that den and catch that skulking young goose, yo. Okay. Are they really helping me? Bazoff! Bazoff! Gumshoes. Oh, this is different. It's not a young goose. It's a gumshoes. Oh, Super Pang's awful. It's so hard to deal with sometimes. Oh, nice. I didn't think I was going to kill him. Level 17! I used to guide and even watch YouTube videos when I got stuck. I haven't got all the Zycube, Zygarde things. I have 80. Wow. I haven't got the, Zy the Zygarde cubes either. Um, I gave up on them. I got enough to make one transformation, but then I gave up on them because I don't really care. Um, it was never that important to me. So, so I, I need this Pokemon to evolve right now. Otherwise, I would show you that trick. But I need him to evolve so I can, uh, so I can fight this, uh, this, uh, totem Pokemon. But yeah, right there, when it's, when everything was green, you just press the B button. That's it. Simple as that. Oh, He's a cutie. It gets excited when it sees a dance. It doesn't know. This hard worker practices diligently until it can learn that dance. Cool. Bum, bum, bum. You defeated all the Pokemon. Let me uh, heal up real quick. I got the 10% form and the 50% form. Maybe one day I'll go back into it and actually try to get all of them, but I just really don't. It's not something I really I really am focused on. You proved your st strength to all three Pokemon. Go right ahead inside. Okay. Let me get this Z. Feel a piercing gaze that seems to cut right through you, but from where? Will you take the Z crystal? Yes. Oh, of course. It's always something. The totem Pokemon of Verdant Cavern has appeared. Verdant. Verdant Cavern. I don't know what it's called. I'm going to look into breeding, though. I want more Pokemon. You can also uh, get some shiny Pokemon by breeding, too. So there's a couple of methods you can find on that. He's huge. Scary face. What's that do? Speed. Not gonna not gonna be a problem here. Lower in my speed. Pa 
Ow. Oh my gosh. It was like seven. Seven damage. Ow, ten damage. Here we go. Gumshoes fainted. Pichu level thirteen. Nasty plot. I don't. I don't want that. That's fine. Wingle level thirteen. Sweet. Should be able to finish him off real quick. Nice. I guess I should go ahead and let Litten evolve if I might be able to breed more later. Yeah, I mean, it, it really depends on what you want out of uh, out of a Pokemon. Um, like, if you want to go through the game with uh, with the second evolution, you, you certainly could. There's nothing to stop you from doing that. Um, but he's going to be way stronger if you can, if you let him evolve. So, in some ways, you're disadvantaging yourself by let it, by not letting him evolve. What an incredible trainer you are! For you to be able to defeat the totem Pokemon that I had trained up to such a powerful state, I don't know what I can say. Working in harmony with your Pokemon, you have cleared the trial of Lima. You're a phenomenal trainer. The Z crystal and the pedestal is yours. Cool. Trial complete. Sweet. I did it. I did it. You obtain norm normalium Z. Z crystal's pocket. Put it in there. What you have just received is a normal Z crystal. It's known as Normalium Z. Now, if you let a Pokemon that can use a normal type move hold that and strike an elegant pose like this one, then you'll be able to strengthen a normal type move by unleashing Z power. Moving right along. Ah, uh, yes. First, there is one thing I forgot to mention. The totem Pokemon in every locale where a captain holds his or her trials you will encounter a particularly strong Pokemon like Gumshoes just now. And during battles against such Pokemon, they may summon allies to shore up their defenses. It's not a tactic often seen in other regions. Perhaps Pokemon in Alola are simply more inclined to help one another. Since you have managed to defeat the Totem Pokemon and proved yourself, you can now try to catch any of the Pokemon you find here in this cave. In fact, have some Great Balls. Thanks. And here, let me see your Pokemon after all all their hard work. Let me heal up your Pokemon, basically. If we're done here, I have something interesting I'd like to show you. Come to, with me to Route 3. I'm guessing I don't really have a choice, but I want to get this item up here first. Oh, I can't. Dang it. Okay, well, I guess we'll just walk around here. Get some stuff going. <clears throat> wow, a Z crystal. <laughs> wow, Z crystal. So is that what they call a Z crystal? It appears that Alola's mysterious Z crystals are received for overcoming trials. I suppose it may be admirable to overcome such trials using your own strength and skill, rather than relying on technology as we do. I'm Zossi. You're kind of awesome, you know? I do know. Thank you for noticing that about me. This is when you're supposed to say Alola to one another, is it not? I am Dulce. Dulce. And we're part of Ultra Recon Squad. Yep. That ball thing you use there, that is some amazing bit of tech. We might have to borrow that idea. We're investigating all about Z crystals and auras and all kinds of stuff. So I guess we'll probably see you around. 
I guess. That wasn't really much of an introduction, but that's cool. Nope. Nope. No, thank you. <laughs> I'd like to ask Lima why he's wearing those capris. I don't think Lima would have an answer for that. Oh, sweet. Noibat. He was not in the original game. I think he's actually pretty cool. I have a lot of Pokemon catching to do for the next half hour. Ouch. That was a critical hit? Goodness. Pokeball! Go! Nailed it. Noibat was captured. Ekans level 13. Nice. Noibat's data added to the Pokedex. <laughs> Fruits are its favorite foods. This gourmet carefully picks out just the ripe ones using its sonar. That doesn't seem like the right word. This gourmet carefully. This gourmet carefully picks out just the ripe ones using its sonar. I think that's a typo. Am I am I wrong? Does gourmet mean something different that I don't know about? I'm gonna leave it alone for now, but I feel like that might be a typo. Whoop, 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 whoop. And a regular Zubat now. Sweet. Jerk. Not as cool as my shiny Zubat that I caught a couple weeks ago, but still kind of cool, I guess. Probably actually did, did not need to reduce his uh, HP that much, but whatever. Don't call for help. Yeah, that's what I thought. Gourmet is fancy food is the only meaning I know. So it's just weird that he would... That, that the, the phrase would say that. That the gourmet doesn't pick anything. The... The Zubat, or the, the Noibat picks something. And that makes sense. But the gourmet is a fancy food. The fancy food can't pick anything out. It's so weird. I don't know. Maybe I read that wrong. It was just a weird... A weird entry. Especially when Pokemon's pretty good about their uh, grammar and spelling. Bum, 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 bum. Zubat's data added to the Pokedex. It has no eyeballs, so it can't see. It checks its surroundings via the ultrasonic waves it emits from its mouth. It emits from its mouth. Bum 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 bum. All right, let's keep it moving. There's probably at least one or two Pokemon in this area that I have not caught yet. Let's see if I can find one or two more. Oh, he's like a dark type or something. Do 
Brion. It made no sense. <laughs> I'm glad I'm not the only one that thought that. Did I catch him already? I don't even remember if I did or not. I did not. I better do it. Sand attack me, sir. I'm just catching all kinds of Pokemon right now. It's crazy. Yeah. Do 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 do. Lady of level 15. Sweet mock punch. Yes, let's do it. It's a fighting type move. Let's get rid of tackle. Yeah. Tackle's a good one to get rid of because Swift does is also normal type and uh, never misses. So tackle is kind of useless at that point. Young Goose. Young Goose. Its stomach takes up most of its long torso. It's a big eater, so the amount of trainers have to spend on its food is no laughing matter. Matter. Wow. So I think we're good in here. I need to catch two Spearow, a Crib Brawler. And something else. Greetings, Captain Lima here. Why are you wearing capris? As you travel around the islands of Alola, you will find Captain's barricades here and there. These barricades help mark areas where particularly strong Pokemon can be found. Anyone can pass through them, of course, if they are escorted by a strong trainer. Those attempting the island challenge can pass the barricades as long as they clear the trials. Behold the power of a captain. Why did that what why'd that guy do it? Your world just got a lot bigger. I am the only captain here on Mele Mele Island, meaning my trial is the only one here. Now that you have cleared the trial, please inform our island kahuna, Hala. But there was another trial in the other area. Huh. Hey there, Blaze. Oh, looking at that expression on Lima's face, I'd say you cleared your first trial. Guess I better give you a little reward. Time to learn about Z-Power. Start off by selecting compatible Z-Crystal from the Z-Crystal's pocket in your bag. Then use the Z-Crystal you chose on a Pokemon. Z-Crystals are compatible with a Pokemon if it knows a move of the same type as the Crystal. Have your Pokemon hold Z-Crystals and you'll be able to use Z-Powers in battles. And don't worry, you can use your Z crystals over and over as many times as you want. I don't like I don't like using the Z crystals to be honest with you. It's I don't like having a huge advantage because I never feel like I'm in trouble in these games anyway. So typically speaking, whenever I uh, whenever I'm playing this game, I don't come into a situation where I think I might lose, and I need to use a Z crystal. So it's never a problem, but. I can see how it could be. Z Leer. <laughs> He's so mad. Angry Rock Ruff is angry. Get him. It's like way overkill. <laughs> Ow. <laughs> Gotta fainted quickly. Z powers heap Z powers heap all of a trainer's feelings into a Pokemon. Which totally wears you out. Using Z power once per battle is all a team can handle. Is that why you've been looking so ragged? No, it's like I was hit with amnesia. I forgot that I lost Lily somewhere on Route 3. Think you could spare some time to help me look for her, Blaze? I can also look around where I think she might have wandered off to. Let's split up and find her. 
Bow, bow, bow. Professor's always looking around the corner. Just out of sight. It's so weird. He's a little scary. Bum, 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 bum. So we got about 15 minutes here to go ahead and try to catch as many uh, Pokemon as I can uh, that I haven't caught yet. So that's what I'll be working on over the next uh, 15 minutes or so. Oh, I love Growlithe. Growlithe's actually really cool. I didn't used to like him as much as Vulpix, but now I I've come to like Growlithe a lot better. Pound. I can't use him in this game because I'm not using um, I'm not using any Kanto Pokemon. I'm only using a Lola Pokemon. Once we get to a point where I found more Lola Pokemon, I'm only going to use a Lola. Bubbles is the only Pokemon I have with a Z power. Nice. Nice. I mean, I don't, I don't condemn the, the use of them. I don't think that using them is, uh, is a bad thing at all. I just prefer not to because I know I'm going to be able to win the game anyway. So there's really no point. Now, competitive, competitive play, that's a different story. I may need to use them. But at this time, I don't, I don't need to. While it's quite friendly towards humans, once it grow once it's grown used to them, in the wild it must be quite fierce to defend its territory from Rockra. Rock. While it's quite friendly toward humans, once it's grown used to them, in the wild it must be quite fierce to defend its territory from Rockra. Rock. Nice, nice. I was hoping to catch a Growlithe there. Worked out. I need Rattata, I need Spiro. Um, there's one more too. I can't remember who it is, but there's there's at least three Pokemon that I need. I need two Spiro technically. Oh gosh, didn't even see that one coming. Oh, Makuhita is the other one. He's the other one that I need. Drowsy, nice. I would love to use Drowsy. Forewarn. Hypno's a, a wonderful, wonderful um, psychic type Pokemon, but I can't, I can't use him because he's Kanto. Delay is bad tonight. I'm sorry. I type the message and it takes about two minutes to show up on the screen. Wow. I've seen it sometimes where the delay is like like spot on. There's like no delay. Sometimes I've seen it where it's really bad. I'm not sure what's going on. But there's probably a lot of people playing Twitch right now or something. Maybe. I don't know. Or doing Twitch right now. Whatever it is. It can be spotted near recreational facilities, intending to eat the pleasant dreams of children who enjoy themselves there that day. Drowsy. Drowsy. So Drowsy is, uh, he evolves pretty early on at like level 22. <laughs> so I'll probably cycle him out too once some of these Pokemon evolve. Smeargle is my best friend. I forgot he was here too. I need him. Sketch. So Smeargle is sketching the last move that was used. Um, now, now he knows Pound and will always know Pound, unless he learns Sketch every ten every ten levels. So you can always teach him something different. But his Sketch ability is actually really cool. He literally can know any move as long as a move is used on him.
Samir goal was caught. So, Pokedex data. Uh, the fluid of Smeargle's tail secretions changes in the intensity of its true hue as the Pokemon's emotion change. So the fluid of Smeargle's tail secretions change in the intensity of its hue. Or change, yeah, change, that's weird. The way they worded this is so weird. As So as the Pokemon's emotions change, um, the intensity of Smeargle's tail changes also that's a subtle difference that they probably won't like that won't be present in the game but kind of cool there's like three more pokemon i have to catch here i don't need ekans i don't need no ekans get out of here It keeps buffering. After this stream, I'll restart my browser before the next one, see if that helps. Cool. The next one is going to be in about an hour. I'm going to take a little bit of a break, have some food, maybe get something to drink. And, uh... Of course, I'll be back for shiny hunting in about, in about an hour. Seven thirty Eastern time is the uh, projected time for that. Bum ba dum bum ba da dum bum. Oh, cutie fly! I didn't know he was here. Cool. I'll catch him too. He's probably gonna die on this pound, though. Ouch! Yep, I knew it. I'm not sure I like that the uh, the Pokedex will scan, like do that little scan animation whenever a new Pokemon shows up, because it doesn't do that for trainer battles, and I feel like that's not that's not cool. Like if it if it doesn't do it every single time, then why bother doing it at all? Like if it's not going to do it for trainer battles, for the first time that you see a certain Pokemon, then there's really no point in doing it. Wingle, level 14. I think he evolves at 22 or something. Could be 28, but I think it's 22. I don't remember. There's Rattata. Hello, Rattata. Rat-tat-ta. Um, I'm going to use Pound, but it's probably going to kill him. Dang it. So i got to be really careful with those Pokemon now. I didn't realize that that would happen. <clears throat> so I think Spearow's in this in this uh, grass too. So Spearow, Rattata, and Cutie Fly are the three I still need. Uh, there's another Rattata, second chance here. Let's do it. Let's do it. We'll change it up to Pichu, I suppose. He probably won't kill him with Undershock. Might even paralyze him, too. I, guess, I should say she, I guess. Beep, 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 beep. Critical hit. Wow. And he's paralyzed. Sweet. Get him. Nailed it. Nailed it. Um, level 14. Nice. I need to head back to Route 1 and look for a Pichu. I didn't see one earlier. I like Pichu. I really like Alola Raichu. He's like my favorite Pokemon. 
as far as the Alola forms. Because uh, it's a, it's a straight-up callback to surfing Raichu and surfing Pikachu from back in the day. And uh, I'm just really glad they did that. It shows no interest in anything that isn't fresh. If you take it shopping with you, it will help you pick out ingredients. Nice. But it'll try to eat all of your fresh things. You don't want that. I refreshed. It seems better. Cool. I'm. Wor I always worry that it's me, but I don't. I most times I can tell whether or not it's me. I don't. I don't think it's me this time. Um. I always get like super paranoid when people say that like, well your audio is like bad or or this or this is happening or that's happening and I'm like it's not though for me. And no one else has that problem. Ekans grew to level fourteen. So, just a couple more battles here. He's so creepy. Drowsy's just a real creepster. After the buffering, I was about four minutes behind. Now it's 30 seconds. Goodness. Now let's do... Let's do Aqua Jet, I guess. Let's see. Ekans. Aqua Jet. I know there are going to be other places to catch Cutie Fly, so I really shouldn't worry about it right now. But I have just a few minutes to kill here, and I don't I don't want to be like not doing anything. So I don't want to get too far because I might get to the next trial and, and then have to be weird about it. I can't believe no one else is here. Guess all the cool young people have plans on Saturday. Um It's it, I don't know, I'm a little surprised that nobody's here, but also a little like not surprised because I feel like I feel like a lot of people are doing are either watching other streams or playing Pokemon themselves, or I know a lot of new games came out this uh, came out this last week, so I think maybe they're playing those games. I mean, I don't know. It is weird. It is very weird that nobody else is here, but I'm kind of surprised, but also kind of not surprised. But it's alright. It's not my normal stream time. Nor normally I stream on certain, only during certain times. I don't know how the uh, the shiny hunt's going to go tonight. Uh, maybe a, a smaller turnout, but we'll see. Okay, let's just go ahead and catch this thing. I stumbled upon your stream because I know you're not usually here this early. I'm always watching Bob Ross. Oh yeah, see, and that's that's true. Like I know a lot of people that watch me on a regular basis. They don't. I don't have a a set time to stream games like this. Um, when new release titles come out, I just kind of jump on and play. Um, but mainly, I'm recording it live, and it's going to end up on YouTube, so people can kind of watch it on YouTube. If you happen to catch me live, great, that's cool too. Nectar and pollen are its favorite fare. In fields of flowers, it gets into skirmishes with Butterfree over food. Isn't that because Cutie Fly thinks that Caterpie is food? Hold up a second. Am I right on that? So, its wings are covered in toxic scales. If it finds bird Pokemon... Oh, never mind. It's bird Pokemon. I, th I thought it specifically named Cutie Fly. Um, <laughs> when you stop, I'm going back to Bob Ross. And then back here. 
I really appreciate the, uh, you know, all the support that you've given and watching and everything. And I know I've said that before, but I really do appreciate that you stick around. Otherwise, I'm just talking to myself, hanging out, playing Pokemon, talking to myself, which I'm cool with. But it's always nice to have somebody else to provide some commentary to. I think I'm going to try to run to uh, Taco Bell and grab something to eat. And then come back for the shiny hunt. Shiny hunts, by the way, on my on my Twitch channel are every Saturday night at 7.30 p.m. Um, tonight, I'll be going after uh, the same one as last week, but I can't remember its name right now. Um, it's uh, Tepig's Evolution. Not Embor. I can't remember the name. It's like Boar. Um, I've learned a lot here. <laughs> Good. There's a Spearo. Let's get him. It's bringing peace. Get it. Let's go with a uh, Wingle, I guess. Um. Oh, cool. Google and my streams have helped a lot as a noob. Sweet. I'm glad. Um, also, to be fair, you've helped me a lot with Animal Crossing, so you know. Ah, oh, dang it. So to be to be totally fair, uh, you know, it's a give and take here on my channel. You give out information and you get some back in return. It's all good. It's all good. Try to foster an environment of uh, helping others and, you know, answering questions. Uh, there's no such thing as a bad question because um, everybody's on a different learning curve and you never know what someone just hasn't done, just hasn't learned yet. It blows my mind to think that, that somebody out there, somewhere, doesn't even know what Pokemon means. Like, not to say that it's it's a, you're a bad person if you don't know. Um, just simply to say that that's a possibility that someone who grew up and you know before it was ever called Pocket Monsters and never never learned what it meant, just never bothered. You know, it's very possible. As time goes on, that'll be more and more common. So, in a way, I kind of wish Nintendo would go back to calling it Pocket Monsters. Um, if if I were in charge of the next Pokemon game, I'll tell you what I would do. I'm gonna I'm gonna talk about this for for a minute and a half, and I gotta go. But basically, I would go back. I would go back to a time before Pokemon Red, before Pokemon Blue, in a day. Um, <laughs> Ghoul Bride. Oh, you are totally fine, Ghoul Bride. I'm so glad that you are. Um, that you're, I'm glad that you're here. Um, but I was I was just talking about how it's it blows my mind that that's a possibility. But it is a possibility. So there's no such thing as a bad question because you never know. You never know what people have learned or did not learn. And the, there's such a vast amount of information out there that it's impossible to know everything. And some of the simplest things can go right over your head sometimes. Not that not that, that was simple. That was something that uh, you kind of would... You'd have to be playing the game when it first came out to really understand... Um, where that came from. Oh, he's dead. Dang it. Oh, cool. But it's okay. That That's that's why we're here. We're here to help each other and, and provide that information in case we missed it. But what I was going to say was that um, if I was going to make the next Pokemon game, I would go back in time uh, to a place where Pokemon exist and humans exist, but we don't have the technology portion of that down. Um... So, 
so we still catch Pokemon, we still tame them, we still we still use them to help us, and things like that. But we don't have that, like we have some Pokeballs, but we don't really have a PC storage system. We don't really have um, a lot of different you know technological advances that are in Pokemon that we've all grown accustomed to. So it becomes more about befriending the monsters and and more about learning to uh to help them or learning learning to you know to coexist with them it practices its slaps by repeatedly slapping tree trunks it has been known to slap an executor and f get flung away <laughs> pokemon started in 96 right that's the year i graduated high school and it wasn't playing games back then yeah haha <laughs> So anyway, I hate to, to log off so soon after uh, Ghoul Bride just showed up, but I do have to log off. Um, I'm doing kind of episodic Pokemon Sun playthroughs, Ultra Sun playthroughs. So I'll be back probably tomorrow around noontime to do the next episode. Um, tonight, though, in just one hour, I'll be doing Pokemon uh, Shiny Hunting, uh, looking for a... Um, <laughs> looking for a shiny Pokemon that I can't remember the name of it. It's the evolution of, of uh, Embor um, and Tepig, but I can't remember the name of that Pokemon. Either way, I'll be shiny hunting it using Island Scan. Uh, but have a great day, guys. And uh, if I don't see you later tonight, I'll see you on the flippity flip.